Does your laptop take forever to boot up? Well, this one doesn't, at least not anymore. I've hit the power button, and this is from a full shutdown, not sleep, and it's already pretty much at the login screen. It used to be that I could pretty much turn this laptop on, go out to lunch, and come back and make it just in time for the login screen to appear. But that is, as you saw, no longer the case. Upgrading the hard drive to a solid state drive is pretty easy, and it's actually not that expensive these days either. And in today's video, we're not just going to be talking about the actual solid state drive that I put in here, but specifically, this solid state drive comes with the necessary software to copy everything from the mechanical drive to the solid state drive. So you will still have all your programs, all your settings, all your bookmarks, all of your dank memes, and the process actually went pretty quick. It only took about an hour to copy everything over, and that was 200 gigs. It's not that I'm a die-hard Samsung SSD fan or anything, it's just that I've used multiple SanDisk drives, and none of them have come with software in the box that's able to copy my operating system like this one has. You're gonna open up the box that the SSD came in, preferably with both hands if you're not holding a camera in the other one. Once the software is installed, you will need to take your SSD, this is just a stand-in, and you will need a way to connect it to your computer via USB, or if it's a desktop, plug it into somewhere else on your motherboard. But the key point is that you have to have your old drive still hooked up and running. I recommend this Kingwin adapter. I picked mine up for about $12 and it has worked flawlessly and it works for the older IDE drives as well as desktop drives. So if you plan on using some kind of a drive as backup or having to rescue something off of it in an emergency, it's not a bad investment. Once the software has finished copying everything over onto your Samsung SSD, go ahead and shut down the computer, then unplug all of this, and then swap the drives. Because there are specific videos to your specific laptop model, I'll just speed through some of the general outline of how to swap your mechanical drive for a solid state quickly. You remove the bottom cover to your laptop, eventually find the hard drive, take it out without damaging it. Oops. You take the metal frame around it if your laptop has one, Separate it from the hard drive, then put the solid state drive in the metal frame, reattach it, and then you'll stick it back in the laptop. Don't forget to put the back cover on, but you don't have to put all the screws in necessarily to test it and make sure it works. At this point, my laptop said there was no bootable device, so I hit retry, and just like the little engine that could, once it tried again, it booted up successfully. It had to run a quick disk check to re-correct one partition that didn't copy entirely correctly, but it only took a few seconds and then everything was back to normal. See, not that difficult. Now how much of a speed difference are we going to see going from a mechanical drive to a solid state drive? Fasten your seatbelts, because it's actually pretty darn fast now. It used to take a little over two minutes, now it takes about 14 seconds nifty. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, you know what to do. If you want to see future videos, you know what to do. Subscribe. Make sure to check out some of our previous videos, and as always, we will see you in the next one. Because I'm watching. Always watching.